So first off, uh, I'm sure a lot of viewers watching this have the question, why are you in Jakarta right now? Oh, I'm here, obviously, like you pointed out. I'm here to make sure that the partnership that we struck uh, about a year ago, both on the messaging side as well as the hardware side, uh, is going well and whatever I could do to help out, um, to meet with the government um, and see how we could expand our business and footprint here. We also have an enterprise business that, as you pointed out, we are quite focused on. Um, and I'm trying to see what is the best way to enter the market here in Indonesia. It's a really great, vibrant economy here. Uh, and what about the market itself? Uh, I know there are several segments that we're talking about. Is the market expanding or are parts of it shrinking? It's expanding. Um, I was with one of the major uh, telecom yesterday um, you know, discussing about the enterprise business, uh, software business, and uh, institutions, government uses, and, and um, hospital, and many, many different um, uh, enterprise. And, and, and actually talk a little bit about IoT, um, mm. in and out of things, sorry. Um, and and they, they, you know, in this particular case, they're looking at growing double digit um, year over year. So the business out here is quite robust. On, on mobile side, like your earlier guests talk about, uh, mobile is really taking over everything here. Um, I, I think they told me they had 175 million uh, mobile phones, and there's only about 260 or 70 million uh, people. Um, so, you know, you take away the kid and take away other people and, you know, <laughs> right. it's all, virtually every, virtually everybody, virtually everybody has a phone, uh, all, all more than one. So uh, it's, it's a very vibrant technology market here. You know, since you started licensing out the phones, though, in Indonesia, John, I'm curious, uh, I believe that number was 6 million users at the time. Where is the number now after this partnership with some of the local, local uh, manufacturers? I actually... Yeah, I actually don't know. Um, the local manufacturer just rolling all these things out. Um, the, the model is called the Aurora. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in in the in this area, so I I don't have the actual data right now, but I'll, I'll find out um, soon enough because I'm actually meeting my partner on hardware today. Ah. later on, later on the day. So you, so you'll know imminently. It sounds like um, John. Uh, in I, terms of I your hope so. <laughs> in terms of your ambitions, uh, not just in Indonesia, in Indonesia, but the rest <coughs> of Asia. What are the biggest growth markets you're looking at right now? Uh, similar steps with partnership, local partnership. Um, we have taken in India with Optimos and in China with TCL, and TCL also help us in other parts of the world, uh, not in Indonesia and not in India. And we'll continue to expand our footprint through partnership in embedding our technology in anything from, you know, anything that has an IP address. Mm. So um, uh, we're now putting people, we're now putting people in Korea and, you know, notwithstanding the latest tension, um, uh, in, obviously in Japan, because right. of the automotive industry, um, we started to put people in Japan, uh, Japan um, China, excuse right. me, um, and we already have a footprint in Singapore and, and Indonesia and India. So, so you could see us are, are heavily investing into the channels at this point. Uh, I'm actually curious. You mentioned Korea. Uh, just given you know all the headlines we've had, John, in the last uh, 48 hours, uh, does that do, do these tensions with North Korea give you any pause on, on business in South Korea? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, you know, if I know the answer to the question, I'll probably be at the White House instead of being here. <laughs> um, I, um, uh, I, I don't. I, you know, I'm an optimist. Um, I, I think it will work out. Um, I, I really do. Um, I, I think uh, in this, in this day and age, with the uh, the tension, the weaponry that the you know the world has, and this is really kind of a point of no return if we if I decide gets a little bit more um, aggressive. Um, so I, you know, I, I'm a believer that they will arrive at certain peaceful resolution, mm. and at least I hope so, and therefore, um, therefore the Korean business will continue to grow and the economy will continue to grow. I, I really do. Uh, you know, John. Uh, you know, you mentioned obviously you're, you're going to these uh, to these various markets. Uh, you know, a, a lot of it is looking at the enterprise mobility management business, right? The you know the enterprise of things is, is what really um, you know companies are now looking at. Uh, you know, with BlackBerry, I'm curious how you are competing though with some of the others who are offering these same types of services. I'm thinking about the Microsofts of the world, right? The IBMs. How do you compete with them and say? Come with BlackBerry, not with Microsoft. 
That's a great, that's a great question. I think it will come from two areas. Number one, uh, we have a very good brand and we have a lot of great technology with lots of patent, 30 years of experience in security. Government all know about BlackBerry. I don't have to explain what BlackBerry does. Everybody knows that. Uh, so government, banks, um, insurance company, and the likes. Um, so if you want security, we are high on the list. Um, and and in, in order to combat the deep pocket of many of the people, that, um, a company that you, you spoke about, I like to use local partners. And mm. I'm, I'm taking, I I'm hope I'm taking the advantage that every country wants to expand their ICT or the IT business. Um, right. Every government wants to see that. And, and so I am offering that. And, and where other of my competitors and peer in the industry, they tend to go more direct. And because, you know, I guess because they can. Right. Uh, and so um, I, I, I believe uh, where we are providing good technology, hoping to help government to create jobs in the tech sector yeah. will give us a leg up in being more competitive. Uh, J John, just really quickly before we take this break uh, and, and come back with you, uh, as you're touring through Asia, as you're, as you're visiting, you know, not only your, uh, you know, your partners, but also your clients, uh, potential clients, are you looking at any acquisitions at all? Are you looking at acquiring um, tech companies or IP? Uh, uh, I, I won't rule that out, <laughs> but I really can't comment on it. Yes, I won't rule that out. <laughs> 